There's only one way to dodge project burnout while keeping the work going, and that's having two projects. In this video, I'll slip sideways from the Mercedes camper conversion, carrying some rusty steel rims as I go, and put together a small media blasting cabinet that'll help me jumpstart the Lotus Esprit project, and restore the steel rims too. The work never stops, but I get some headspace from the Sprinter van. Way back when, I met a man about a hot rod project. Check out that video. He was the brains behind a retro camper business, but he had lots of other little interesting things hanging around. Anyway, I fell in love with an old fiberglass cabinet. And a few years later, when the camper biz morphed into a retro food truck outfit, Riggsy called to ask, did I want to come and take the cabinet? Pfft, duh. Here's my 70s wedge. And this is all of its suspension, which I've got to restore. Not going to be nice, but I'm confident because... Because I've got a lovely media blast cabinet. But it's messed up and it needs some work. So I've also got... Loads of new parts and a colonic irrigation system. Let's have some fun. problems with the rust buster. The gloves are very ripped and beyond good use they fill up with sand. There is no grate to put our parts on and they don't reach to the bottom so that's an issue. There's no ceiling around the outside anymore it's perished and there's no extraction system so without those all of this will end up out there and I work with a body shop. The gun needs to be serviced and has a very broken nozzle and somebody has cut some really big holes in the sides. So just a small list of things. Let's start with extraction.
The problem here was the painted lid partially insulating itself from the table so that the arc was inconsistent. I say the problem like there was just one. I then forgot to stop the machine before it completed the full drawing I had generated to make a big washer for the cyclonic collector to be mounted on the lid. So this lid's toast. Luckily I know my own staff well and had gotten a spare lid for just such an eventuality. Measure it and I knew, or is that luck? You'll never know. Now I just gotta get this end to talk to something.
I say my new tip is really pink, does that sound wrong? Okay, the tip was shattered, yes, but looking down the bore of it, you can see how as the media passes through the gun, it wears away the ceramic over time. I don't know how or if this affects the gun's efficiency, but this tip was worn right through. See the little hole there? That can't be good. This brand, by the way, Geissen, with Andy, our media blast expert, he reckons this is the good brand, the old school, die hard. Good enough for me. Oh, don't forget to check out the clip of Andy blasting the whole Esprit chassis. Okay, this is, this is pretty anemic, but the compressor wasn't turned on, so things did get better. It took a little longer than I'd hoped, maybe half an hour, but that's far faster than any other tools at my disposal, and nothing else I have would get into all the nooks and crannies or leave nearly as clean or as good a finish either. I mean, this would be paintable with little more than a squirt of the air duster. Yeah, you can clearly see where I was wailing on it with a lump hammer to get it off the hub back a few videos ago. I care not. This is getting painted black and then I'm going to make some baby moon style 50s hubcaps out of some camping plates. Subscribe for that. Oh, and hit the like button. So now I'm set up for blasting and all of the Esprit's components will be going through this machine in short order. And then we'll be into building up a rolling chassis. Yeah! Now, what's it gonna be first? A girling inboard rear caliper, perhaps, sir? Oh, I do believe so. So that's it. I'll leave you with this. The top of this old blast cabinet bears a striking resemblance to the engine cover of an early Lotus Esprit. Or is it the other way round? The Sprinter and Esprit projects will continue in unison and there'll be a few side projects behind the scenes for supporters, as always. To become a patron, follow the link in the description and thank you, David White, Filth Up North, Thomas Kenny, Charlie Zapp, Lazar Smith, ah, oh, I want to be called Lazar, Will Simons, Stephen Griffiths, Samuel Zayn, Stephen, Andreas Erlandson and Pascal DeLove. Until I see you next, stay stuck in and good luck.